What's up guys, welcome back to Scarlet Nexus. In this episode, we are going to um, see what Yu uh, Yuito Sumeragi's beginning story looks like. Or like that first area, or first uh, beginning part. And then we're going to make a decision based off of that on which character we want to follow for the rest of this story. So, we're going to select him. And then we're going to go through the beginning portion of the story with him and then make our decision. So let's do it. What the? You have to live. No matter what. Virtual brain link cable will now be connected. This will hurt much more than it did in training. Be strong. Systems all green. Beginning SAS. <laughs> he looks like so like what is going on? This is what SAS feels like. Good. Seems like you're okay. This aptitude test will determine your platoon assignment. Do your best. Yes, sir. Okay. We're going to go through the tutorial again. Ito Sumaragi. Identity confirmed. The other suppression force aptitude test will now begin. Exterminate all others. Okay. This is the final trial. He's a little bit slower. Stop thinking so much. I have to focus on what's in front of me. If I can complete this assignment, I'll be a member of the OSF. Soon, I'll be able to make my childhood dreams come true. Be able to handle any kind of other from psychokinesis power. I'll see. Okay. Come on. Let's keep this up. So they both have psychokinesis. Oh, look at that combo. There's a chance she would know something about her. I have to make it through this exam no matter what. Oh, I see now. That's what he meant by it's her in that clip. Let's keep this up. The exam should be finishing up soon. 
The instructor always said the most dangerous thing is being careless at the end. Alright! We did it! Best triangle while moving to perform a sweeping, moving spin attack. Perform a weapon attack with square while landing. Okay. Starting to get the hang of the game. Mission successful. This concludes the aptitude test. <sighs> okay, that ends your training. You're an official member of the OSF from tomorrow. Cadets now have 24 hours of free time until then. Make sure to get some rest before your duties tomorrow. Okay. Understood. Back in Japan again. Hey, Yuito, how was the test? Nagi, how did it go? On the test, I'd say that I did kind of pretty good. Kind of pretty good? Kind of good or <laughs> pretty good. We were looking rough when the SAS cable connected. Oh, that really hurt. It was fine after I got used to it, though. Sounds like you had fun. <laughs> That's so like you. <laughs> so tomorrow will be OSF, just like we dreamed. I can't believe it. Mm. Yeah. What's up? You don't sound very excited. No, I'm happy too. Didn't I tell you? I was saved by an OSF soldier when I was a kid. So I wanted to be one as well. But... But what? Lately, I've been wondering if that's it. The end of my goal. I'm here today because someone saved me. So, I'm wondering if there is a better way to save more people's lives. You can't bear such a big burden like that. People have limits. We're OSF, so we fight others. Let's do our best at the job we've been given for now. Yeah, you're right. I guess I was just being a little anxious. First, I have to become a real member of the OSF. 
thanks. Your gratitude is greatly appreciated, Mr. Yuito. So you're going to report to Sumeragi Tomb later? I hate telling the ancestors every little thing. So annoying. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not just that. The Sumeragi Tomb is collaborating with Baki right now. What? Sumeragi Tomb is your family grave. I know it's a tourist spot, but they do things like that? I heard it's happening more and more. It's something my father decided on. Oh, right. I have to send a message to my dad and brother. Your father won't reply anyway. I know he didn't want you to join the OSF, but man, that's cold. He's always smiling when he's at the council. It's like he's not even two-faced, but three-faced. I mean, he's a politician after all. Anyways, I only send him simple messages. Oh, there's already a reply from my brother. What does it say? Good work. You pushed through. A direct compliment from Chief Sumeragi. You're guaranteed a promotion. <laughs> You're making fun of me. My brother's not going to coddle me just because he's the chief of the OSF. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sure you are. If you're really sorry, you'll give me the keychain from the fortune you get from Baki. All right, I got it. I'll pull a fortune and give you my keychain. Then you have to help me pick up the ladies. I have a better chance when you're with me. What? That's just me doing extra work for you. I'm not gonna lie, guys. This is kind of this is this kind of feels like his story. Just kind of feels like something I've. Could, I've seen before. It sounds like very basic, you know. Saved by a soldier when he was younger. Dead father. This game is so beautiful, dude. Go ahead and save our game here. Oh yeah, there's tons of save spots. people paying their respects. Huh, those two girls over there were cute. What? Really? I didn't see them. I can't believe your family grave is a tourist spot. You sure are an elite. My dad and brother are, but I'm not. It's like one of those grand families. Your father is the chairman, and your brother is chief of the OSF. Plus, you're descended from Yakumo Sumeragi, our founding father. He's the hero who saved humanity from the spring of extinction. I wonder what he looked like. Maybe he looked like you. He is your ancestor. This just sounds He's basic. my ancestor, but that was 2,000 years ago. Oh I yeah, not, don't not feel dead like father, but like dead ancestor. The only record of him is in that mask. Even if they say he's my ancestor, how could I be sure? Ah, uh, I get it. He does look like the villain in a horror movie. His face was injured in the spring of extinction, right? Oh, crap. Your dad would get mad at me for saying that about our country's forefather. It's no big deal. 
But you are. The Sumeragi house is known for having lots of authority. Your dad got mad when you said you didn't want to be a politician or a bureaucrat. Enough about my family. Let's go get a fortune from Baki. You're not going to pray to your ancestors? Okay, let's get going then. Odd. Okay, got it. Let's look at the same time. Roger, these are the fortunes that will decide our fate in the OSF. Ready? Ready? Go! go! <sighs> Very bad luck. Me too. This is a bad sign. Oh, I'm dying. Let's go to a cafe or something after we tie these off. Yeah, we already got Baki's keychain. Why don't we head to Vision Town? Chain to Baki keychain. Man, I am skeeting this bike. Huh? Others? An other alert? But today's forecast said the threat level here was zero. for warning. They're deploying the Scarlet Guardians. <laughs> Badass. Septentry on Karin and Fubuki. on Karn Travers and Fubuki Spring. Karn Regiment, Fubuki Regiment, Plan A, roll out. Civilians, head to the shelter. <laughs> wow. Hey, Yuito, we have to get to the shelter too. We're not real soldiers yet. So we're basically just yeah. switching spots. Director. <laughs> the way the, the the way this is running is not even physically possible. The other was defeated with one blow. Septentrion first class. Brain eater Major General Karin Travers is amazing. Whoa! Hyper-velocity evasion into an electric blast? Karin Travers is the only one who can use that many powers! He's so cool! 
Doesn't he have the ability to copy other people's powers? Yeah, that's why he can use all those powers. It's basically cheating. The other is fighting back, but Major General Travers is unfazed. Major General Strength freezes the other without hesitation. Whoa, an other like that is nothing against a Septentrion class. Are you serious? We're not real soldiers yet! We're the only ones here with the powers necessary to fight the others! We can't! If the instructors find out... We can't just watch people die! I'm going! You call for backup! I don't want to go alone! I'll go with you! Thanks! Uh, don't look so happy! It's not like I want to go! You're the best! What? You think I don't know that? I'll take the right, you take the left. Got it! Sussy Baka. Nani, you okay? The attacks are working. Maybe I can win. You better win. It's not safe here. Get to a shelter. Y yes sir. Be careful. There are more others. Can you keep fighting? Uh, sure, why not? I'll take them on. Okay, let's go. Was that the last of them? That's odd. You a civilian? Huh? It's her. You have to live. No matter what. You're OSF? Oh. No, I'm a cadet. I see. Either way, our goal is the same. What do you mean, goal? Are you an idiot? Huh? Shh! Something's coming. Huh? What's coming? Here we go. Huh? Okay! Come on! You're OSF too. You can use Brain Talk. Do you see what's happening? Let's talk after we take out the others. Here we go! This is 
is nothing. should take care of all the other readings around here. Yes. Kasane! I saved that boy! Nagi! You're okay! Yeah, Naomi saved me. Man, I must look like an idiot. I'm just glad you're not hurt. Thanks, sis. Oh! You two are sisters? Yeah, they're both OSF cadets like us. Let me introduce myself. I'm Nagi Carmen. This is Yuito Sumeragi. I'm Naomi. Naomi Randall. This is my younger sister, Kasane Randall. So it was you making all that trouble. have eradicated the others! Huh? You saved Ryujin Ward in that amazing victory over the others. What? Uh, well... What is this? A victory interview? It is. How do you feel? Alrighty, alrighty. That's enough filming for today. Oh! Captain Arishi Spring! Just who are these rookies? What? Nagi? Huh? Where is everyone? Huh? We should be able to talk here. Uh, what's going on? I'm Luca Travers. Luca Dunkage? You're Septentrion 6th Class Luca Travers? It's embarrassing when you put it that way, but yes, that's correct. Are you all cadets? Please open your personal port so I can confirm your identities. No objections? Thank you. So all four of you are OSF cadets. Cadets aren't allowed to fight others. I... I'm sorry. Isn't OSF responsible for allowing others to enter the local airspace and putting civilians in danger? Kasane! You shouldn't say something like that! Those are some harsh words. But you're right, Cadet Kasane Randall. I'm sure you all have something to say. But first, report to OSF headquarters. Keep away from the press. Got it? Understood. What's that? Oh, casualties from the battle. Two OSF troopers on guard duty were killed. I think it's censored, but it's best not to look too close. Huh? Why? Because others eat human brains. Yes. Looking at headless bodies can have negative lasting effects on your mental health. Oh, I just imagined it. They should teleport or report them out. It's too far to the morgue and powers aren't omnipotent. We have time, so let's talk a little. I'm sure you know, but one person can only use one type of power. But each kind of power has peculiarities and aptitude. Just as there are types of powers, each person has strengths and weaknesses. To use them in combat, we must rely on devices to lessen the stress on the brain. That's why things that can be accomplished without powers, or things with low priority, are done manually. Right, sorry. Now then, I'll be going. That'd be us if we didn't get the others first. I wouldn't let that happen. We're all 567th class, right? 
We'll stick together and become great fighters. Y yeah. Don't worry. I'll protect you, sis. Let's go. Oh, goodbye, Yuito. Nagi. That girl, Kasane Randall. She looks surprisingly like... her. Those two. From the registration numbers, they're in the same class. Are they twins? She's so cute. Huh? Naomi, she's so my type. Kasane is pretty too, but she's a little scary. Naomi is like her opposite. Shy and kind. She kept glancing at me and blushing. Man, this might finally be my big chance. <laughs> You're as simple as always. Whatever. Let's hurry to headquarters. What do you mean, whatever? Uh, you should be supportive when your best friend is in love. Yeah, yeah. Tell me all about it later. Let's go. Frame points. I know there's a save point after this. Am I the third wheel here or something? Oh, it looks like another group of cadets has arrived. That must be Cadet Yuito Sumeragi and Cadet Nagi Carmen. So, it appears you were able to fight an other before your official assignment. How was your first fight? Huh? Were you afraid? Uh, no. I just used my training. I see. So you were able to fight calmly. Although still a cadet, you are a true Scarlet Guardian. Amazing. Really? Cadet Yuito Sumeragi, what will you tell your father, Chairman Sumeragi, about your actions today? I've been ordered not to answer any questions. Excuse me. Nagi, let's go! Oh, I see how you got this a big works. Head for a cadet. Huh? What did you say? All right, everyone, don't fight. I'm Kyoka Eden of the First Regiment, Eighth Company. You're Cadet Yuito Sumaragi and Cadet Nagi Carmen, right? Chief Kaito Sumaragi has asked to see both of you. Hurry to the chief's office. Be ready for a lecture. You did a good thing, but it's important to follow the rules as a member of the OSF. Good luck. Is this the intro?
kind of want to watch it again. Such a dope op opening. Welcome to Seto Platoon. I am Seto Narukami. Starting today, I'm your commander. First, let's have everyone introduce themselves. Tell us what your powers are. It's best to be familiar with the type of powers in your platoon. For example, my power is electrokinesis. All right, you first, Hanabi. Understood. I'm Hanabi Ichijo. My power is pyrokinesis. Happy to be here. Nagi Carmen. My power is air manipulation. It was my dream to be in the OSF. I'm honored to serve under Septentrion 7th Class Captain Narukami. I'm Yuito Sumeragi. My power is Psychokinesis. I was saved by an OSF trooper as a child. I'll do my best to repay that debt. Oh, so you're the famous Yuito. You were all over the news last night. They said the Sumeragi boy drove off the others. How did it feel to be in the fray? Enough messing around, Kagero. Introduce yourself. Yes, Captain. <laughs> okay, all you babies of the 567th class. I'm Kagero Don, the late blooming genius. Only you call yourself that. You're so harsh, Captain. <laughs> so, Yuito and Nagi, you're volunteer soldiers? I'm an adult, so we're in the same boat. Nice to meet everyone. I'm sure we'll get along. What does he mean by it? Adult. Adults are OSF troops who weren't scouted until later in life. You didn't know? They're like us that volunteered for the OSF instead of being scouted. Basically fodder. That's right. I'm just trash here, but I do my best. Let's work together to stay alive. Don't worry about how you got here. Only the strong and highly thought of survive in this world. Worrying about what others think is pointless. Okay? Next is Wataru. I'm Wataru Frazier. My power is reading thoughts, basically telepathy. Sukumi Nazar, my power is clairvoyance. Nice to meet you. So, it's a platoon full of weirdos. We should fit right in with the rest of the OSF. <laughs> Everyone, do your best. Moving on. We'll start with guard duty as your hands-on training. We'll go in two-man teams. Nagi's with me, Kagura with Sugumi, and Hanabi with Yuito. Connect your SAS with each other. Get ready and reconvene at the entrance to Kikuchiba in one hour. That is all. Dismissed. Long time no see, Yuito. Hanabi! Oh, what's it been, two years? Who would have thought we'd get put in the same platoon? You know Miss Ichijo? Call me Hanabi. Yuito and I are childhood friends. Okay. Wow. But we didn't see you at all as cadets. Oh, I was scouted. 
I see. The training areas for scouted and volunteer soldiers are different. So no wonder. I guess you're an elite, Hanabi. No, I'm not. Hey, do you know Naomi Randall? The Randall sisters? I know them. Those two are the real elites. Kasane was scouted by the OSF when she was 12. Wow. She was scouted that young? Huh? You know Kasane? Yeah. We fought others together yesterday. What? You mean that other attack? No way. Kasane didn't say anything about it. Are you friends with the Randall sisters? Not really. I talk to Naomi a lot, but Kasane is... I'm pretty sure the only one friendly with Kasane is Naomi. Oh, really? Can you introduce me to Naomi? <laughs> oh, so that's how it is. Naomi is cute. Hey, you three. Quit your jabbering and get to Kikuchiba. Yes, yes sir. sir! See you later. I can't believe my first assignment is with you. I'm excited. This is so cliche. I can yeah, tell that if I... Wait up! Oh, well. Oh. Yes, what is it? Uh, Mr. Wataru? Uh, you can just call me Wataru. There's a notification for you about Bias. Looks like they messed up. Bias? It's an OSF-developed brain assistance system that amplifies and helps maximize your power. Every year they choose subjects to gather combat data on the system. And this year, you're one of them. I won't sugarcoat it. It's still in development, so it's unstable, and the side effects aren't clear. Uh, so they want me to be a guinea pig? Sorry if I scared you. They've done tests before, so that people who aren't compatible aren't selected. So don't worry too much. Either way, it's an order, so you can't refuse. Just try starting it up. It should have installed with all the other systems. Is this right? Nothing seems different except for visuals. The system works in your brain, using your power to display visions. Powers are just the ability to visualize. They get stronger the more you focus on them. This will make connecting to SAS smoother too. It'll still hurt a lot though. I think I got the gist of it. Thank you for explaining all of this to me. Even though I told you not to worry, there are some nasty rumors about bias causing people to lose their minds or become emotionally unstable. So if you feel strange at all, don't strain yourself. Okay, thanks. I'll be careful. Well, that's it for me. Oh, and you don't have to be all polite with me. Just take it easy. All right, don't be late for your mission. I'm a little worried about being an experiment. Well... I guess it won't change anything. Okay, I'll head to Kikuchiba when I'm ready. This is just so freaking like this story feels so basic. Like I've seen it a million times in an anime before. I'm not saying it can't be good, but I think you guys have a feeling which route I'm gonna take in this one. Necessary. Amazing! You volunteered and got into the OSF, just like you always dreamed. You were scouted, so I have to work hard to catch up to you. The one you want to catch up to isn't me. It's her. I think that's gonna do it for this episode guys um so i'll do a here's what i'm thinking so if this game is literally awesome and i think it's amazing and i'm able to play it the whole way through and think it's no not boring at all no nothing i will play 
both characters through and through completely. And I'm going to do it with the Kasane first. I think her story off the start is more interesting. I think that his story is kind of like stereotypical. Like, not stereotypical, but like it, it kind of fits like a niche of like anime stories or isekais or whatever. So, next episode we'll start off with the girl's story, Kasane. And then if I like her, the story a whole bunch, I'll go and do his too at the end of the game. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.